Hello, hey guys. It's such a lovely day here at Champions Online. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, everybody's happy, and I'm sitting here waiting for my pizza. No, not really. Uh, not much has really been going on in Champions this week, so I haven't really made too many videos. But I guess I can just talk about what has gone on since today, such as the new sale. <gasps> Thanksgiving sale came out today. It's gonna last all the way till Monday, so it's pretty cool. A lot of stuff is 20% off. Costumes are 30% off. So now, costumes are, look at that, 332s in. Oh man. Now, I'm sure you guys already know about this. If you play, you can look at this and you can see, hey, there's a sale going on. So it's not really that new of information, but. Emblems are not on sale. Mm-mm, you can't do that. I don't know why. Yeah, so emblems are not on sale. Uh, powers are on sale, 420 So in American money, it was like $4.20. Costumes are like $3.32. A lot of the service stuff is gone on sale. If I can find it. The retcons and the renames and the retrain. And the character slots. It's all cool. It's all going on sale. Freeform is on sale too. Four thousand. That's like forty bucks, American money. Now, for freeform's cool. You can pick any kind of power you want, but you cannot change the color of your powers. So, if someone asks me that, if uh, hey, if I buy a freeform, can I change the color of the powers? And the answer is no. I'm sorry. You can only change the color if you're a subscriber or a lifetimer, whichever one. So now, it's a perfect time for you to get this Ninja Leaves travel power that just came out. Huh? It's pretty sweet. I don't have it. I would test it, but it's not on the test server, so I can't even look at it. And I don't like buying things if I can't look at it. So it's kind of a shame, really. It look, I think it's just like Ninja Vanish, but instead of like a big poof of smoke, it's a big poof of leaves. So, that's it for that. That's, well, that's really exciting, man. Um, so that's the sale. Also, vehicles should come out, the, uh, the new ones, like the bikes and stuff, should come out soon. Now, this is the funny thing about the vehicles. Let me open this back up. If you go to the vehicles, there's like three different kind of tanks, three different kind of jets. Okay, maybe there's more than three different kind of jets, but there's a variety. I think at max, there's like three of everything. But for the bikes, there's only two on the test server. So that means they only really didn't make one more so they could release it along with everything else, but they didn't. So I'm thinking maybe there's another type of vehicle they're working on. I don't know what that would be. I mean, you have, you know, tank and jet and bike. I don't know what else. Pogo stick, golf cart, I, minivan? I don't know. That'd be pretty sweet to have a little minivan. That'd be, like, really heroic. Also, there was talk about the uh, foundry being part of uh, Chambers Online, someone found a, uh, a page for it on the website. You can't get to it unless you actually type it in in the URL. But it looks like a copy-paste from Neverwinter. If you don't know what Neverwinter is, that's the online game Cryptic's working on. It's fantasy-based. It's going to have the Foundry built in right from the get-go. The Foundry is a thing, a tool used to create your own missions, your own quest. So that's really cool. Star Trek already has it. So Neverwinter is going to have it when it comes out. But that page on the Champions Online website looks like a copy-paste from Neverwinter because it talks about, you know, classes. Champions doesn't have classes, they don't have races, so it looks like a copy-paste. But could it just be a placeholder for the Champions Foundry, which would be cool? People have been talking about the Foundry since, since like, the Foundry came out, on like, or since they've been talking about it. A whole while, like for years, they've been talking about it. Uh, from what I can understand, Champions runs on like some older code, older engine. I don't really remember the techno mumbo jumbo, but Star Trek is like an updated version of Champions. This is Champions engine, I think. So it works with that. They said they just plug in the foundry right now, but it would break a lot of stuff. So we all know how that works. I mean, they can't even add you know Nighthawk without something just totally just exploding. But that would be cool for champions to have that because it would add a whole new layer of content to do. User generated content. Now obviously, it's going to be a lot of stuff that's not very good coming from that. I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but that's just honesty there. 
Only a few select things, I believe, will actually be really cool to play. A lot of it will be okay, and some of it might not be so much okay. Kind of like the Minecraft, you know, adv adventure maps. You know, you go with Minecraft maps, whole lot of adventure maps, but only like a handful are like really, really cool. While the rest are just okay, and some are just not so great. So, that, so I think that's gonna happen if the Foundry comes out. And also, they have to really work on how they're going to implement it because with the uh, City of Heroes, the game that just died recently, um, they had the Mission Architect, which allowed you to make missions and all that stuff, but people abused it. They made it to where you can level 1 to 50, I think was the max at the time, to, uh, or maybe it still is. 1 to 50 in like a day you could do because they would just exploit it. You can get all this experience and all this stuff. So with the Champions comes with the foundry where you can make your own like millin uh, villains, your own villains and your missions, your own henchmen, everything you you could want. Be like making your own comic book. They have to make sure not to give too much power to the player creating, so it won't be exploited and abused. So I, I don't know where, really where I was going with that. I just thought it was interesting because I would like to have it. I would love to make stuff. I'm not saying I'd be really good at it, but I would love to make stuff. I know other people would love to make stuff, and I'd love to play stuff from other people making stuff. <laughs> so that's it. I also hit 600 subscribers. Woo uh, well, I mean, I could lose some by the time I upload this video, but as of right now, 601. I thought about recording a video showing my face, but then I thought I might lose everybody I ever gained through YouTube. <laughs> But anyway, thanks for watching. This is not much of a video, but it's something just to keep the videos coming. Uh, if you want me to do some, you can suggest it. I was doing a Let's Play, but they kind of messed up my character as far as his appearance. I had to redo his costume. I'm working on that. And that's about it. I'm just chilling here at the pizza place. Oh, actually, I guess I'm at the uh, O'Reilly's pub closer to that area. Or I'm at the uh, Millennium Mike's sandwich shop. Pretty sweet. Or Pat's Coffee. Oh, there's a lot of food places here. Too bad you can't like go in and like order some food. That'd be kind of dumb though, but I wouldn't mind just goofing around. So anyway, goodbye and uh, see you next time.